an off-white brand would start up making keyboards. That's how they would probably look like. I'm Sponky and today we're going to take a look at a Mojo 84 which was sent to me by Melgeek. Mojo 84 is a 75% layout casket mountain pre-built which I believe is a such a great option to purchase. It has few downsides but I will talk about them later on the video. They are not that really big of a deal but it will be nice to have. Let's talk about the way it looks. This keyboard has really that off-white brand vibes. I totally understand if you don't like it because of that or you love it. Accept it. This looks really premium I would say. I mean I can kind of feel that price tag of the Mojo 84 although I would much rather prefer to have an aluminium case over clear plastic one but hey it has that sort of vibe and also on the back we can see rubber feet and a case foam. Clear case helps the RGB to pop more. From the top it's only noticeable around of the keycaps because they are not shine through although I would talk about them a bit later. PCB supports self-facing LEDs. If you're searching for a lot of connectivity options, this keyboard might be right for you. It can be used as a wired keyboard, which is the way how I used it. Also, there's option to use it with Bluetooth device due to the 5.2 Bluetooth connection, which this keyboard supports. And the last way to use it is the 2.4 GHz connection. Switches which are in their arcade boxes. These are some custom linear switches which are named plastic. Yeah, plastic. <laughs> Basically, these are some lightweight linear switches and to be honest, I love that fact. For the smoothness, I could probably compare them to my looped Echo Jelly Pinks. It's really close to each other, so that's just impressive for a stock switch. But hey, if we consider the price, we need to expect something good. And talking about something good, now let's move on to the stabilizers. Here they're almost perfect. My spacebar for the time when I'm writing this review have zero rattle, same as shift, backspace and enter keys a little bit worse but still they perform better than most of the stuffs that I tried in pre-built keyboards. Gasket performance is also really important because since it is a gasket mounted keyboard we would expect nice soft typing experience but in the reality yeah it is soft enough for me. I also checked and thought I can notice Mojo 84 flex more than my Keychron Q4, so that's really good. One more awesome touch is Poron Switch Foam with Play Foam. Poron helps to add a bit of pop to the sound, however it doesn't sound marbly like P Foam. Last thing are keycaps, and as said before, these are non shine through, which is something that I really appreciate. MD profile is quite nice for typing I would say. It takes time to get used to it, but after that, it's really nice. Sad for me is the fact that keycaps are made out of ABS plastic, but at least they're double shot. So is it worth it? Well, if you're looking for the pre-built keyboard that feels like a custom one, then I would highly recommend to consider this keyboard. It is priced high, but for the quality products, we need to spend a bit of money and this keyboard is definitely one of these products, although slightly lower price will make it even better. I hope you guys enjoyed the review, let me know what you think about this keyboard in the comments, check some other reviews, I would appreciate it a lot. And now is the time for the sound test.